Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another brand new Jurassic World Evolution 2 video. So, quite recently we had the announcement of the Jurassic World Dominion DLC, or more specifically shall we call it, the Dominion Biosyn Expansion Pack. And there will actually be a reason as to why I specifically mentioned its original title. Before we get into the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel with bell notifications on if you enjoy Jurassic World Evolution 2, Jurassic World Dominion, Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous, anything Jurassic, you'll find it on this channel. We're aiming to hit 140,000 subscribers until June 10th, which will be the global release date for Jurassic World Dominion. I'll actually be seeing the movie early on June 3rd, 4th and 7th, don't worry, there won't be any spoilers, and if there will be spoilers, the titles will not contain spoilers until we get to June 13th. And if there are spoilers within a video, I'll obviously give a very obvious warning, because that's the last thing I want you guys to come across. And same goes for you guys, please do not spoil Dominion down in my comment section, that'll be horrendous, unless it's a video with actual spoilers. But anyways, today's video, Jurassic World Evolution 2, and as you guys can tell by the title, where are these dinosaurs? As we know, there are brand new dinosaurs coming to Jurassic World Evolution 2 via the Dominion Biosyn Expansion Pack. And the new dinosaurs arriving via this DLC is the Therizinosaurus, Quetzalcoatlus, Dimetrodon, a new Giganotosaurus variant and a Dreadnoughtus variant, as well as two new skins for the Tyrannosaurus, one scarred and one feathered, a new skin for the Dilophosaurus, and a slight remodel and three new skins for the Parasaurolophus, which are all movie accurate. But I think it's quite obvious that a few things are actually missing from this DLC when it comes to species. Because as we know, we have around 33, 34 species confirmed for Jurassic World Dominion so far, and a lot of them are already in the game. Obviously, adding these new species is fantastic, but it is quite easy to point out that this DLC, not only being 20 US dollars to purchase, is missing quite a few amounts of species that are very new for Jurassic World via Jurassic World Dominion as well. And these species are Atrociraptor, Lystrosaurus, Microceratus, Oviraptor, and the Morus Intrepidus, with also some variants for the Allosaurus, Carnotaurus, and also the Iguanodon. So, for the past two days, we've been asking the question, where are these dinosaurs? I have no clue, and honestly, I think many people are very upset that these dinosaurs aren't added, especially with the fact that Oviraptor is a feathered dinosaur, Moros is a feathered dinosaur, Atrociraptors are just larger Velociraptors, I guess, in a way, but loads of people want them for their aggression, Lystrosaurus is very similar to a Synapsid the Dimetrodon that we are getting added via this DLC, and the Microceratus has been asked for ever since Jurassic World Evolution 1. Not only that, but the Battle of Big Rock Allosaurus also shows up in Jurassic World Dominion, and we still don't have a variant based around that Allosaurus yet. Same for the Iguanodon, where we saw in the Jurassic World Dominion prologue, and we will see in the Jurassic World Dominion movie. And then we also obviously have the Carnotaurus, the Demon Carnotaurus from Fallen Kingdom. So where are these creatures? Well, as I said in the earlier portion of the video, once we focus on the exact title of this DLC, the DLC is called the Dominion Biosyn Expansion Pack. So, again, I haven't seen the movie. For those who know anything about this movie, please do not spoil whether I'm right or not with this theory in the comment section down below. If you've seen it, cool, keep it to yourself until loads of people have actually seen it because as we know, June 10th is a massive release date for the United Kingdom, US and many other countries. So here we go, here's the theory, again I have not seen Dominion so this theory could be wrong, but here's what I think. So the dinosaurs added via this DLC are actually dinosaurs specific to Biosyn, which means that the Therizinosaurus, the Quetzalcoatlus, the Dimetrodon, the Giganotosaurus, the Dreadnoughtus and the Pyroraptor are creations of Biosyn and I think we can understand that from the Jurassic World Dominion trailer. The Therizinosaurus was clearly in some sort of Biosyn Valley, the Quetzalcoatlus flies over the Dolomites Mountains within the trailer, the Giganotosaurus is also found within the Biosyn Sanctuary as well as the Dreadnoughtus, and the Dimetrodon is hidden within the Amber Mines of the Biosyn facilities. And not only that, I assume the three new models we'll get for the Parasaurolophus are also created by Biosyn and released into the wild. The new skin for the Dilophosaurus, as we know, is in the Biosyn Valley as well from the trailer. And then I can only assume from some TV spots that we've seen, the Tyrannosaurus Rex has also been captured by Biosyn as well. Which leads me to think that the Atrociraptors, only ever seen in Malta, the Lysiosaurus, only ever seen in Malta as well, 
the Microceratus, we don't really have too much information about. The Oviraptor and the Moros aren't creatures that were created or even housed by Biosyn. And then when we count all of the new species, we have Atrociraptor, Lystrosaurus, Microceratus, Oviraptor, Moros, which is five new species. Once we go all the way back to the Fallen Kingdom DLC, which was free in Jurassic World Evolution 1, we had six new species, minus the Indoraptor, five new dinosaurs. So what my theory is, is that there will be another new DLC to coexist with this Dominion Biosyn DLC, and instead it will be a Dominion Dinosaur Pack, which hopefully, fingers crossed, it will be free to the public, where you'll be able to get five new species and three new variants of dinosaurs, being the Allosaurus, Carnotaurus, and Iguanodon. That way, it explains why this movie DLC that was announced recently is at the price of 20 US dollars, 16 pounds, and 20 euros. Because later down the line, or sometime soon, we will most likely be getting some sort of free DLC for Jurassic World Dominion. I just felt it was a bit odd to force people to pay to get the movie accurate dinosaurs. I don't know, I'm not really a fan of things like that being stuck behind a paywall considering that it's a movie based game from the movie. Obviously you want movie accurate dinosaurs and new species to the movie brought over to this game for free. So I can only assume that these set of dinosaurs, specifically the Quetz, Therry and Giga, you'll most likely have to pay for unfortunately. However, there will be other dinosaurs such as the Atrociraptor, Lystrosaurus, Microceratus, Oviraptor and Moros that will hopefully, fingers crossed, become free to the public eventually. Maybe before June 14th or maybe even after June 14th or entirely it could release on the same day as June 14th as well. But I just found it odd how the DLC was called the Dominion Biosyn Expansion Pack and not specifically the Jurassic World Dominion DLC. So I can only assume that this DLC that you pay for is specific to Biosyn only and then the future DLC will hopefully be free where you'll get 5 new species and 3 new variants based off their appearance in the movie. Again, at this point in time we don't currently know this but there could be some sort of a surprise species in Jurassic World Dominion that we don't really know is in that movie yet. So entirely there could be a 6th species to add to that list. But as for today, the main reason as to why these dinosaurs are missing from this Jurassic World Dominion DLC is because, fingers crossed, they may release free to the public later down the line in a non-Biosyn specific DLC for Jurassic World Dominion in Jurassic World Evolution 2. Hopefully that makes sense and hopefully we get an announcement regarding this sometime soon because there has been a lot of backlash about people saying I have to spend $20 and then not even add in all of the dinosaurs from the movie. So yeah, I can kind of see why people are getting upset about this, but hopefully that theory does come to fruition and does come true because it would be nice to have at least five new species added to the game via a free Jurassic World Dominion DLC. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed today's video, feel free to press that like button and subscribe if you are new. If you want to check out everything to do with Evolution 2, Dominion and Camp Cretaceous, this is definitely the channel to be at. But most importantly, and all I ask for from you guys today, is to make sure you're staying safe out there. And I can't wait to see you all in the next one. Bye bye. Hello, hi, you, did you enjoy the video? Just a little reminder to press that like button and also subscribe. I just want to thank my Patreons for this month on screen right here as giving me that little extra support really does go a long way. But anyways, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day.